Hi everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do some mid-April readings for all the zodiac signs. Please keep in mind that they are general readings, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. We're going to do a reading for Taurus, and uh, thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. It's so appreciated. Thank you so much. I do have a few new things behind me, um, some crafty things done with from Donna uh, Dansberry. And if anyone's interested, just give me a shout. So, let's see what's going on for Taurus, mid-April. Happy birthday to all the Taurians. I'm a Taurus too. So let's see what's going on. Okay, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. Maybe there's a new creative endeavor that you started, and you're waiting to see, you know, the fruits of your labor, so to speak. Where a new journey is going to take you, maybe. So we'll see how that applies here. Now, Taurus, the signifier here in the Celtic Cross, is a tower. Major Arcana. And this is something that comes in so hard, so fast, blows your mind like that cap off the tower. You never see it coming. But the reason why the tower comes in to any situation is because something was built on faulty foundation. The tower comes in and rips it apart so something good can be built upon it. And what's crossing you, Taurus, is the Queen of Pentacles. Your suit, plus Virgo and Capricorn. And the Queen of Pentacles is about material things. She's worked very hard and for a long time to have the things that she has. So she appreciates hard work. She's very grounded, great with animals, plants, outdoorsy, but very easy to talk to because she, she keeps herself grounded, realistically. So, tower, wow. So maybe this is something that's shocking, comes in real fast. That gives this opportunity to have material things. So what's in your foundation, Taurus, is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is moving to calmer waters. Leaving a situation and going into a better one. So maybe that's what's so shocking. So... What's crowning your reading is a Knight of Cups. And their messengers, Cups being of the emotion, Cups being the water suit, so that could be a Cancer or Pisces or Scorpio. But what's crowning the reading is a message of sentimental worth to you. Taurus, maybe a opportunity came in really quick really sudden and you had to jump on it to be profitable wait to see what happens so Taurus in your recent past we have the eight of wands and the eight of wands is about reciprocated communication the back and the forth so this could be Skyping, text messaging, you know, regular mail, face-to-face -face type stuff. So back and forth. Going into your future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is diligently working, keep your nose down, and perfecting your skills, perfecting your craft in what you do.
So Taurus, maybe there is something that came in really quick, like a good opportunity, and you had to jump on it. And there's a lot of communication back and forth, but you went towards it. Because it's something that you really, really want to do. Now, Taurus, how people see you in your environment is you, the Hierophant. Higher learning, higher education, religion, absolutely. I call it the faith and hope card. Could be marriage if you're in an institution or anything, but people look at you this way. Because you are a grounded energy. You are the easy person to talk to. Yeah. Now in your environment, Taurus, we have the Page of Wands. And he's a messenger as well. Wands being of the fire suit. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is a message that's in your environment that's calling you to take an action. Maybe you overhear something that uh, you're like, hey, well, maybe I gotta jump on that. It can be as easy as that. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, Taurus, another major arcana, you have the world. Certainly not a fear. This is success. This is being divinely protected from the universe. Good opportunities. A new adventure. So Taurus, maybe you did um, jump on something really quickly and you moved towards it and it's what you love to do. It's, it's what you want to do and keep striving for better. And you're very hopeful, very hopeful that this is going to be successful and be everything you ever wanted. So you could be this in your element, Taurus. Now as the outcome card, I have the Seven of Swords and I swear this whole month this card's been coming up a lot. It's like you can't shake this person. And I don't like it as an outcome card. So the outcome card is Somebody taking something from you. Now, whether it's material things or stealing your pride, your name, your thoughts, your heart. It's also somebody who likes to come in and stir up a bunch of shit and then leave like it was never them. It's also about somebody wanting to sneak away from a situation. And I find that disturbing because it's an outcome card. Because you're striving to do better, Taurus. You're striving to do these things, you know, this career, perhaps, you know, work environment. And you're striving for better. And all of a sudden, at the end, somebody's taking something from you? Oh, you know I have to clarify that. Someone's help them. They all want to come out. Huh. All right, got a few cards that come out. So, Taurus, what was depicted as the tower in the beginning, something mind blowing, and comes in. You have the tower again, but this time it's in reverse. So something that came in before, hard, quick, fast, blew your mind, okay, in the reversed, it's like a twinkling effect. Maybe something already happened and you're still feeling the effects of it. It wasn't just like bang and done and over and you can get over it. It's like still feeling tower effects. Next I have the King of Swords and he 
is in the reverse. And he's a jackass, okay, in reverse. In the upright, it's somebody who speaks their truth, even though they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. Okay, they cut to the chase and get to the meat of the matter. In reverse, this person's manipulative, deceptive, a liar, somebody who bends the truth. Then I have the Eight of Wands, again, that was in your recent past, and I have it again, but now it's in the reverse. No reciprocated communication. I've got the Four of Swords reversed. Not taking a step back, not reevaluating your situation. No strategic planning. Just go ahead and do it. Like gangbusters. And then I have the devil card reversed. So, Taurus, this seems like to me, this thief, okay? Maybe you broke those ties. Maybe you broke those boundaries, you know, or feeling stagnant with somebody. And they're pissed. And you moved on to do better for yourself. And you are doing better for yourself. And this is somebody who sees this. You broke ties with them. But this is somebody, okay, who maybe came from your past or somebody from your past, perhaps. That this big shocking thing, this upheaval. That this person is still feeling the effects of it. They're a liar. They're a manipulator. Maybe you cut off communications with them where in the past that you were talking to them and then nothing. Like I said, they're pissed. Maybe they've heard that you're doing better and you're doing good. Because you had to move on from a situation. And this. Get real. If you can't be happy for me, then you can't be a part of my life. Period. That's why communications stopped. That's why, you know, there wasn't an, no thinking about this didn't have to. It was done. Get over it. Yeah, I might have been bound and tied to you at one point, And I chose to be there. I don't choose to be there anymore. I'm done. So Taurus, that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. It's so appreciated. And thank you, Donna, for all those great crappy things in the background. And folks, I will see you real soon. Take care.